Okay. Now go ahead, Mr. Ginsburg. I apologize. No problem. Uh, let me just let me kind of back up a few questions. When did Bad Boys Biker Click begin or start? 2006. And when did you join Bad Boys Biker Click? 2008. And how does the club identify members of the club? We all wear vests, patches, logos. And is the vest called a patch or just a vest? It's a, it's a, I guess a patch and a vest. Okay. Um, what does the vest patch represent? You have the name at the top, which is Triple BC. You have a man in the middle on a motorcycle, um, blue, blue bodysuit. Um, at the bottom, it states a uh, bad boy biker clip. And so, just so we're clear, the logo on is placed on the back of the patch. Is that correct? Correct. And inside the middle of the logo, if there's a circle, is that correct? Yes. And inside the circle is a motorcycle person, a person on a motorcycle driving from the perspective of driving away from you. Is that correct? Correct. And that person is wearing a, a vest or a jacket. Is that right? Correct. What color is that vest or jacket? I think it's blue or black. Okay. And the person's wearing a helmet. Is that correct? Correct. It's obviously a man driving the motorcycle. Is that correct? Correct. And then top the the logo itself, it's in the center. What does that top read? It reads Triple BC. Is that Bad Boy Biker Click? Correct. Bad Boy Biker Click. It doesn't say Triple BC. It actually says the words Bad Boy Biker Click. Is that correct? It says it at the bottom. Okay, at the bottom. I'm at sorry. Bottom, correct. All right. And then somewhere is there a, a little patch or circle where it says Motorcycle Club? Correct. Is that outside the circle to the bottom right? Correct. Now, who developed this design? It was developed from our original six. Okay. And so were you part of the, you were not part of the original six? No, I was not part of the original six. All right. Did Valerie Urquhart have anything to do with the design of the Bad Boy Biker Click no, logo sir. or patch? No, sir. She didn't have anything to do with the forming the forming the name Bad Boy Biker Click Motorcycle no. Club, did she? No, sir. Did you have, and this design was placed on the back of a leather vest, is that correct? Correct. Who did that work? The company, sorry. I don't know who actually did that company, uh, who actually created the original patch. Right. Um, but it was done by the original six. I mean, I, I can't recall. Who puts it on, if you have new members, who puts that patch onto a vest now? I do. Okay. And do you get the patch from a certain design shop? Um, yes, I use two different companies. Who do you use? I use RB3 and I use... Um, the young lady name is Miss Curl. I can't think of the name of her shop. Okay. I'm but sorry. Can you repeat that name? Her name is Miss Curl. C U R L. Yes, correct. Right. Uh, she's like science design graphic. I think that's okay. S G B or something like that. Okay. Let's. But the one you do remember is R B three design. Yeah, R B three is basically who I use today. All right. Who owns the patch to Bad Boys Biker Click Motorcycle Club? I do. Is there a patch for the Bad Girls Biker Click? Yes. And when I say Bad Girls Biker Click, do you often refer to that as the Bad Girls Biker Click, Bad Girls Biker Click Motorcycle Club? Yes, correct. And sometimes just called Bad, bad, bad Girl. Girls Click or Bad Girls. Yes. But they all, those are all synonyms for Bad Girls Biker Click mo Woman's Motorcycle Club. Is that correct? Yes. And is there a patch for the Bad Girls Biker Click? Yes. And are the bad boys patch and the bad girls patch similar? Identical, almost. All right. What, so if they're almost identical, are there any differences? The differences is, yes. What are the differences? Uh, the hair and the boot. Okay. And the color. All right. So let's talk about the hair. In the boy, and I'm going to do the boys and girls patch. In the boys patch, the person is obviously male and has short hair. Is that correct? Correct. In the girl's patch, does the girl have a ponytail? Yes. So that's a difference. Is that correct, right? Correct. In the boy's patch, the jacket is light blue or blue. Is that right? Correct. In the girl's patch, what color is the jacket? Red. All right. And in the, you said in the boy's patch, what kind of boot or shoe is the person wearing? 
uh, in the man's pants, it was basically like a boot. Okay. And the girl's pants was and the person wearing. It's like a heel. And it's it taken from the same perspective of a, a this is a female driving away. Correct. Just as the boys' patch is a male driving away. Correct. And atop the where the boys patch says boys bad bad boys biker click, the girls patch says bad girls biker click. Is that correct? Correct. Other than those changes of the patch is essentially identical. Correct. Um, and I know the boys patch has a small circular patch to the right that says motorcycle club. Does the women's patch say W for women's motorcycle with WMC for women's motorcycle club? Correct. The motorcycle club and the women's motorcycle club, that's not spelled out, is it? You use the initials. Correct. All right. And why are these patches similar? Because when um we designed it, it was all supposed to be one because we combined together. We just want to identify a woman from a man. But it's supposed to be the organizations were supposed to be auxiliary. The the boys club was started first. Correct. correct? The girls club was started later. Correct. And is it was it the patches were so similar to identify that y'all belong together? Correct. And who so you have two organizations. Who's the head of this organization? The the men club. Okay. And the men club, you said is about 300 members. How many members did the girls club have when they first formed? Approximately. Talked about nine. And how was the Bad Girl Biker Click logo developed or designed? Oh, I designed it. And was it your intention to design it similar to the boys' patch to show this unity? Correct. And in your opinion, the girls' club was under the umbrella of the boys' club. Is that correct? That's correct. Did you ever sell the rights to Bad Girl Biker Click design name or logo? No. Nope. How did Bad Girl Biker Click get to use the name and patch? I, I allowed them to. So you authorized. Correct. Them. Authorized. All right. Was there a bad? Let's let's first start off. The judge wanted. Well, we talked about this. You know, I'm going to try to share the screen, but I'm showing, I believe, what is plaintiff's number two. Okay, go ahead. Right. Will you allow me to share the screen? Uh, I already have. Okay, perfect. Let me see if I can get us here. Well, that's I'm sorry. I had it pulled up. I lost it. One second. Okay. Are y'all able to see what I'm pulling up here? No. Not yet. Okay. Let's see. Do you like me to share it? I think I want to try to see. Yes, but if I can't, let me see if I can get it this way. Is that showing up? No. Nope. Nope. Uh, um, you like me to try? Yeah, let her do it. Okay. Uh, that's not working. Well, that, yeah. It's, it's opening up, Your Honor. Almost there. No, it, I, we can see your screen. It just doesn't have the exhibits. Yeah, the screen, the um, the ex exhibit is coming. It's it's opening up. Okay. I'll be able to see it in a minute. I think oh, I didn't hit share screen. That's probably why I didn't show on mine. Sorry, Judge. Judge, can you see mine now? No. no. I think you're going to have to go back and share screen and directly with the exhibit. Could you, okay. could you give me back? Let me try it, Judge. I think I can get it. I didn't hit share screen on mine. Okay. Mine says I'm sharing screen, but let me share screen. Okay. Sorry, let me pull it up here. Let me email. All right. I've got it up there. Minimize, minimize, minimize. Share screen. Trial exhibits right there. Can y'all see it now? No. Oh, it says uh, you are sharing screen. Wait, is this whose is this? Is this yours, Miss uh, Defense Counsel? Um, I believe so, Your Honor. I've been sharing. Yeah, well, so go ahead and share screen, Mr. Ginsburg. 
All right. Not, uh, Just let Mr. Ginsburg do it at this point. All right. Okay, that's still not it. All right. Let me stop share for a second. Let me go back. Uh, did you guys email me the exhibit, uh, Rhonda? The exhibit? We did, Your Honor. We did, Your Honor. We emailed them to the court reporter. So that's mine. Once, oh, wait, Judge, that may be it right there. Are y'all seeing it now? So yes. my screen share is loading. You are screen yeah, We can see it. Okay, see great. It. Sorry, Judge, it's going slower than I thought. Um, let me show you this email first, Mr. Ward. I'm going to hit, I'm actually handing Mr. Ward a physical copy of it so he can, he can look at it as well. Uh, this is can you can you uh, make this larger so we can see it better? Yes, sir. Let me see. Did that help? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad we got working. <laughs> All right, Mr. Uh, Ward. I'm showing you what is marked as our exhibit two, plaintiff's exhibit two. The first part of it looks to be an email from bad, well, purple rain bad girl biker click at gmail.com to ward Markey at yahoo.com. Do you see the first part? Yes. The second part is a reply from Markey Ward at Yahoo to bad girl biker click at gmail. Do you see that? Yes. It's dated June 29th, 2020. Do you see that? Yes. First, do you remember ever sending this email? No, sir. Do you believe that this email is in fact, incorrect. Yes. Do you believe that you never sent that email? Correct. Let us look at the, so you believe this is a forged email, was that right? Correct. All right. Let's look at the second, let's let's focus on the second email response, or the email response. It says Purple Rain, who is Purple Rain? Valerie. Do you refer to her as Purple Rain or do you refer to her as Valerie? Purple rain. It said it is our, and in the first email, she's asking for a copy of the release from Reggie. Is that right? Yes. Who is Reggie? Reggie is an employee that works for for which company? RB3. So, and is RB3 the person that designed the logo or that actually made the logo Bad Girl Biker Click Women's Motor Soccer Club? Yes. And so she's asking for a, a copy of the release from Reggie. What is what is she talking about there? I really don't know because Reggie is just a person that worked there. Uh, Mr. Rudd is the one that owned it. Why does she need a release from Reggie? Don't know. Okay. Um, now you said, well, the second email alleges that you said, that you have given authorization to have the design. It's all good. That's authorization, not that you're selling it. Is that right? If I was to wrote it, yes. Okay. But I'm sorry, you, Aaron, I didn't catch that. Could you say that again, please? If he was to have wrote it, exactly word for word, if he was to have wrote it, it would have it said she had the authorization. Okay. All right. And authorizing means you're you were giving her permission to use it. Is that right? Correct. Then it's the next sentence here. The logo is owned by BGBC. Is that Bad Girls Biker Club or Click? Yes. Did you ever intend for her to own the pack or own the design? No. Sir. Why did you intend for her not to own the design? Because she's not the owner. The, the, the man's club is the owner. Of it. And she wasn't the only one just giving authorization. There were nine original members of that group, the Bad Girls Biker Click Motorcycle Club. Is that right? Yes. Did all of them have the the right to author up to have that design? Yes. And did they all get patches for that design? Yes. Did now Miss Urquhart was the founding member of that group? Is that right? No. Or she was the original. She, she just one of the members. Okay. Was she the original president of the group? Correct. Okay. You want to take it off screen sharing, please? Sure. All right. Um, now, was there a bad girl biker click established in Texas? Yes. 
And what when was the Bad Girl Biker Club established in Texas? In March. With well, a founding date, let me show you. Your Honor, if I could screen share again. Okay. I'm going to show you what is marked as plaintiff's exhibit number one. You, you need to bring up the exhibit and then share screen it because otherwise it's not going to work. You're, you're right. doing it this way. We're not going to be able to see it. I will, Your Honor. Let me, sorry, let me. Oh, I got to get out of this. I'm sorry. That's two. We're going to show you what's marked as exhibit number one. Huh? And I'm. Do y'all see it now? Yes. And is this the, this is Plains Exhibit 1. Is this the uh, bylaws of Bad Girl Biker Click? WMC. Yes. The Bad Girl Biker Click, the bylaws show was established on February 2nd, 2020. Does that sound correct? Yes. All right. And where was the first chapter formed? Dallas. Were there also any satellite chapters recognized on this date? Yes. And where was that satellite chapter? Dallas, Texas. And that's in the original group. Is that correct? Correct. All right. And let me go to page 16 of the, sorry, Your Honor, page 16. Let me show you the bottom. The bylaws talk about here. The bylaws talk about it's a rule or violation for anyone to misuse the club's name or copyrighted material. Is that correct? Yes. So the club, Bad Girl Biker Click WMC, was already trying to protect their name, their use of their logo, whatever copyright material there was back on February 2nd, 2020. Is that correct? Yes. The There wasn't any copy. Nobody had filed for a copyright, though, as of February 2nd, 2020. Is that correct? Yes. All right. And the club was not set up as a corporation on February 2nd, 2020. Is that correct? Yes. And there were no DBAs filed in February 2nd, 2020, were there? Yes. Me, no. Okay. So as of, let me just make sure. So as of February 2nd, 2020, there is a club called Bad Girl Bikers Club WMC but there's no official in Texas, but there's no official recording of it anywhere. Is that right? Correct. Let's talk about at some point, did there become a disagreement? You know, I'm going to close this, if that's okay, and pull up another document. Okay. At some point, pull up exhibit three. You know, if I may start screen sharing. Okay. Sorry, want to blow this up. At some point, did there come a, become a disagreement among the ladies of the Bad Girl Biker Click Motorcycle Club? Yes. And did this agreement start in February of 2021? Yes. And what we're showing you is marked as Plaintiffs Exhibit Three and been admitted is that some of the four of the four of the original club members we're seeking to have Valerie Urquhart removed as the president of the club. Is that correct? Yes. Did there also come a point where Valerie Urquhart tried to remove those four members from the Bad Girl Biker Click Motorcycle Club? Yes. So you basically have the original members of the club both competing to take over the name of the club and kick the others out. Is that right? Your Honor, yes. I'm going to object to leading. Sustain, rephrase. I will, Your Honor. So there was a disagreement between the women of the club. Is that correct? Yes. As we're seeing in the plaintiff's exhibit three, at least four of the women tried to remove Valerie from the club. Is that correct? Yes. Did Valerie also try to remove members of the from the club? Yes. And what do you know what the nature of that disagreement was? Why they were fighting? At the time, they was uh, Valerie was really disagree. Um, she wasn't following the bylaws 
to a full effect and she wasn't giving the girls an opportunity. Uh, so they filed a motion against her. And there's a, and then she filed a motion against them. Right after, right after they filed a motion to her, she come back and retaliated with the same motion. Okay. How did you become aware of this disagreement? Well, once the two sides can't get agreement, then they have to come back to the, the, the man's club to... And is that because y'all are the head? Correct, club? correct. And when both sides had it, when both sides were trying to oust the other side, did that agreement or that disagreement come up to you as president of the men's club? Correct, it came up to me as well as our board. Okay. And is this letter dated February 17, 2021, is this the, the disagreement that you were presented with on behalf of the club? Correct. Your Honor, I'm going to object to relevance. This case is about something entirely different. I don't know why this exhibit is here or why we are talking about disagreements yeah, with the I, club. I'm not. I'm not sure either. Why? Why is this relevant to this case? Well, just because it's short. I, there was a club that was called Bad Girl Bikers Click, and, and I'm going to just call it Bad Girls Biker Click. That was established in 2020. None of the filings were done until 2021, and after the termination, where Mrs. Urquhart was dismissed from the club was what the next statement was going to be. So the club was in use, as I said before, under a declaratory judgment, it's first to use versus first to file. So the club was in existence and has maintained its existence since 2020, just without Mr. Ur without Mrs. Urquhart after April of 2021. That's why it's necessary and relevant as to why there was a disagreement and how Mr. Ward got involved in it. Uh, Your Honor, if I may respond to that so the court can rule on my objection. Um, the witness has already testified to the existence of the club prior. And he has also ex um, um, testified to the fact that registration took place after for all parties. This exhibit and these issues are still not relevant. It's, may I respond, Your Honor? You know, I, I I can't see, I guess, Mr. Gonzalez, I'll let you respond more time. I just don't see how this dispute is relevant to this case. Well, if Mrs. Because you haven't challenged her standing to bring the case, so. Well, Jeff, that's, the part, that's part of the response, though, is that if Ms. Urquhart was ousted as the club and the club is still operating because it never ceased to operate, then she files to trademark the club or trademark the name of the club that something's already operating under a different person or a different group. That shows it was but then that so, so you're saying there's two different fashionable biker clubs? Yes, Your Honor, there are. That's the, that's where the first use and why it is confusing because there are two different clubs operating as bad girl biker click, a woman's motorcycle club. Has any of this been pled? Yes, Your Honor. It's in, it's in. Your Honor, the, the issue here is the person sued is Valerie Urquhart, and the person suing is Markeith Ward, not the other Bad Girl Biker Club, or if there is any such other club. So I still don't see the relevance of this um, alleged dispute to whether or not the, the, the logo and the name belong to either of the parties before the court today. Judge, it is. it has been pled. Sorry, that they were that there, this whole section was pled, this whole fact pattern was pled in the original petition or the amended petition that's the lead, the lead petition. And Mr. Ward has testified that, and he's just testified that the club, Bad Boy Biker Club, which is not incorporated, owns, which he is the president of, owns Bad Girl Biker Click Motorcycle Club. Your Honor, that's not what he testified to. I don't know if you want to look at the court reporter's record, but that's not what he testified to. He said a female club was established. You presented the bylaws. His name is nowhere there. He has never my, testified my, to being the owner of the president of both clubs. I guess what's a little confusing to me is we're fighting over... Our, our, why are these individuals fighting over this as opposed to the clubs fighting over this? What, why are the plaintiff and defendants individuals as opposed to the clubs? 
I can answer on my client's behalf, but I think Mr. Ginsburg is the plaintiff, so perhaps he would like to go first. Well, the defendant, if the defendant, because she she alleges to have purchased all the clubs and trademarked them in their individual name, so that's why she's the defendant. Mr. Ward is claiming that there is no there is no incorporation of the Bad Boys Biker Click clubs. They're just a club of which he is the president. So he's he designed the bad as he testified. He designed the Bad Girl Biker name and logo and patch. He's so, so you, are you saying that the clubs don't have any type of legal standing? That they're, they're not. They're an organization. I mean, Jed's is legal standing. I don't think I don't know if they do. Well, uh, if I may, Your Honor, my client has a basis for being here. She's the founder of the club and she has registered her trademark. The issue is plaintiff registered a trademark for the bad girls by click. That's what we're supposed to be discussing, not whether some third parties who are not part of this suit have an interest in the suit when they've not come to court to claim it. That's not it's not the testament before the court. I'm sorry. And I, and I appreciate you telling me what my case is, but that's not the testament. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Ginsburg. I wasn't talking to you. I was addressing my, I, my objection to the court. I understand and, who you're talking to, but you're saying what my case is, and that's not what my case is. Um, yeah. Your Honor, Texas is a pleading state. We have our pleadings here. I don't know where we are getting these other issues from. Even the opening statements from both sides were telling the court, these two parties are fighting over who owns the trademark. No, so, I, I guess really the issue is, that the, I guess I'm raising an issue that really hasn't been pled, which is, should this really be a lawsuit between the two entities as opposed to the two individuals? Because or, or, there's not a claim that Urquhart individually owns this or that uh, the plaintiff owns this, right? I mean, Actually, the, the claim is that Urquhart owns this. And plaintiff is saying Urquhart does not, and that he owns the trademark Bad Girl Biker Click. And again, that's the dispute. He owns it through first in use. And that's why it's important to know the history of what happened here. Okay. It's not Honor, just the filing, which is what defendant is claiming. Yeah, still not understanding how the. Yeah, at this point, you know, uh, I think. Defendant is right in this case, given the way this is pled. Now, this I, I have issues with the way it's pled, but the, given the way it's pled, none of this is relevant because we're they're not. It's not the entity suing each other; it's the individual suing each other. And so, uh, I'm going to sustain the objection. All right. So, just so, all right. Let me move on then, Judge. So, Mr. Ward. There is an entity. There are are there multiple entities operating right now as Bad Girl Biker Clip Motorcycle Club? Yes. What are the two? Who? Let's call it the Miss Urquhart's entity. Who are the members of Miss Urquhart's entity that are operating under that name? If you know, I think she got about four or five members. She's operating in Dallas as well. All right. Under the other club. Who's operating under the other club named Bad Boy, Bad Girls Biker Click Motorcycle Club? I have a Dallas chapter, I have a Tower chapter, and a Longview chapter. And how many people are operating in the Dallas chapter? It's about eight. And how many people are operating in the Tyler chapter? It's about six. And how many people are operating in the Longview chapter? I think it's about nine. And that chapter, the chapter with the three, the three chapters. I'm going to call it three chapter in the Urquhart chapter. The three chat they're not associated with each other. Is that correct? No. And that three chapter, that is the byproduct of the for original chapter that's got the Tal Dallas and Tyler chapter. Is that correct? Correct. Ms. Urquhart's chapter does not have the Tyler chapter. Is that right? Correct. Um, did you ever ask and were you ever asked to make a determination of which is the official Bad Girl Biker Click chapter? Yes. I'm going to object, Your Honor, once again. I'm sorry to keep interrupting, but this is not relevant to who owns the trademark. Sustained. Did you ever ask Ms. Urquhart to return the logos and patches? Yes. Let me pull up this document. All right. Let me 
You know, I probably make screen share. Amen. Did you direct plaintiff's exhibit six, your honor? Did you direct after the determination was made, which is the right bad girl biker click motorcycle club? Did you direct that a cease and desist letter be sent to Miss Harcourt? Yes. And is plaintiff's exhibit six a copy of that? Yes. And did you ask her, did she return, you asked for the return of the bad girl biker click emblem patch design? Was that ever returned? No. Did you also receive a cease and desist letter from Mrs. Urquhart? Yes. Was that addressed to you or was that addressed to the other members of the Bad Girl Biker Click? To me. Your Honor, may I uh, stop to share, please? Okay. All right. And did Ms. Urquhart send you the letter, Markeith Ward, that you were to stop using Bad Girl Biker Click and Bad Girl Biker uh, logos and patches? Yes. And that was sent to you, not to you personally. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, can we pull, we got, what number of the exhibit is that of yours? Which one are you referring to? The cease and desist letter. I think it's exhibit one. <laughs> My client cease and deceased? Yes, yes, ma'am. Exhibit one, yes. Can you pull up uh, defendant's exhibit one, which has been pre-admitted? Do you like me to do it? Yes, please. All right. Your Honor, with your permission. Go ahead. You guys can share screen at will. You don't need to ask my permission. Okay. All right. Your Just to, um, I'm going to be figuring this out. I apologize. It's my first um, <laughs> virtual bench I think, I think we found it. You got to pull it up first. Okay, so I keep, I don't know how. Um, there you go. Do you see it, Your Honor? Yes. You're okay, let me just go to bit one. Yes, yeah. it's okay. I'm okay. getting off to bit one. Okay, there you go. This is defendant's exhibit one. Do you see a copy of it on the screen? Yes. Yeah. And this is a cease and desist letter that was sent from Valerie Urquhart. Is that correct? Yes. And she puts owner of Bad Girl Biker Click LLC. Is that right? Yes. And then she put she addresses it to you individually, Mark Heath Ward. Is that right? Yes. And she's saying that you are using the Bad Girl Biker Click Women's uh, Motorcycle Club logo and name. Is that right? Yes. Right. You're on. Can we stop sharing, please? Okay. So this is evidence that she is considering you as the owner, or at least the she's sending you the cease and desist letter to stop using that name. Is that correct? Objection leading. That's not what represent making representations about a document that are not as they are. The it is leading. It is leading. So rephrase. Was the doc who was the document sent to? To more keyword me. Was it sent to Bad Boy Biker Click? No. Was it sent to Marquis Ward on behalf of Bad Boy Biker Click? No. It was sent to you individually, is that correct? Correct. So according, at least it can be inferred that Ms. Harcourt was telling you, the individual, to stop using her logo and patch name design. Is that right? Yes. And you were the one that actually created the design. Is that correct? Yes. Objection leading. Overall, you can answer. Your Honor, at this point, I think we've established why Mr. Mark Keith Ward is suing individually. I'd like to go back and ask him some of the questions that were earlier overruled, if I may. Was a dispute brought to you about who the rightful owners to the name Bad Girl Biker Click Motorcycle Club brought to your attention? No. Was it brought to Bad Boys Michael, Bad Boy Biker Click's attention? No. Sorry, let me read. There was a dispute as to which girls group owned the name of the club. Is That's that right? correct. Yes. And did you decide that? Yes. And was that brought to your attention? Because why was that brought to your attention? Because they, they couldn't come to agreement. Okay. And you made the decision. Is that correct? Well, the, the boy actually made the decision. It was a group, group of us, just one, one individual. I was just president, but Valerie asked for all of us to come. Okay. So Valerie requested for you to come. Correct. And did she present the case to you of why she owned the bad girl bike or why her group should be the, the moving forward, the rightful bad girl biker click? Yes. 
And did the other members of the club present why they should be the rightful members of Bad Girl Biker Click? Yes. And did you, as, a, as the board of the men's club, make a decision? Yes. What was that decision? We voted Valerie out. Okay. So Valerie was not a member of the Bad Girl Biker Click at that point. Is that no. correct? No. Bad Girl Biker Click. I'm sorry. And did the Bad Girl Biker Click continue in existence after Miss Urquhart was voted out? Yes. And that occurred, that was only, I'm sorry, after Miss Urquhart was removed from Bad Girl Biker Click, was she, did the, did she then go and register DBA, various DBAs? Now, let me back up. Do you know what a DBA is? Yes. Okay. What is it? Doing business days. All right. Did you become aware that Ms. Urquhart had registered DBAs in various counties in Texas? Yes. After the fact, she got kicked out. Right. So after she was asked, told to leave, that's when she started registering DBAs. Is that yeah, right? Yes. And did she register Bad Girl Biker Click? Yes. Did she register Bad Girl Biker Click Motorcycle Club? Yes. Did she register Bad Girl Biker Click LLC or yes. uh, Bad Girl Biker Click Women's Motorcycle Club LLC? Yes. And those were done. Did she file for incorporation of those documents of that name? Yes. And that's Bad Girl Biker Click Women's Motorcycle Club LLC. Yes. Was all that done after she was removed from the club? Yes. Did she also file for trademark protection with the federal government? Yes. Did she file for copyright protection? Yes. And that is all in the name of Bad Girl Biker Click Women's Motorcycle Club. Right? Yes. And that was done after she was removed from the club. Is that correct? Yes. You actually filed for a trademark as well with the bad for, with the name Bad Girl Bikers Click. Is that right? Yes. And your honor, that's our exhibit, if I may, your honor. May I share? Oh, sorry, Judge. I know you said we don't have to ask, but may I share the screen? Go ahead. And it didn't pull up. I'm sorry. Let me try. Let me try again. I think I'm clicking too fast. All right, there we go. So it's on the screen. It's there. Let me share the screen. Uh, Judge, for whatever reason, it's not pulling up. But can I just say that Exhibit 5, Your Honor, I think we all have a copy of it. You know, I'm going to show Mr. Ward plaintiff's exhibit number five and ask the court to take notice of it that's pretty pre-admitted. Okay. I'm sorry, just for whatever reason, it's not pulling up on the screen. Sir, did you file for bad girl biker click with the Department of Pat or Trademark and Copyright Office? Yes. When did you file that for that? Uh, March of 18, 2021. And that is shortly after Mrs. Urquhart was told or was told to leave from Bad Girl Biker Click. Is that correct? Yes. And was your application accepted? No. Was it disputed? Yes. And did you file to the design on it is the patch that Bad Girl Biker Click had? Is that correct? Yes. And it has the name Bad Girl Bikers on top with the picture of the female driving away with the long hair to talk about. Is that correct? Yes. And this is a this is a color. This is not a color copy. It's black and white, but in yes. the jacket, she would have had a red jacket. Is that right? Correct. And the click is written in some kind of cursive at the bottom. Is that right? Correct. And that was was that disputed? Yes, it was disputed. Who disputed it? Valerie. And what happened with that was that request ever granted to trademark or copyright? No, it was never granted because of... Why not? It was just money. I, I didn't have no more money to continue to go into another lawsuit about the, the trademark. They, they emailed me, and I knew I had court going on, uh, so I was going to let the court determine before I spend more money because we just run out of money fighting this case. 
are you asking um did miss urquhart ever file to trademark the name bad girl the logo and bad girl biker click yes let me see if i can try to get that one up um plaintiff's exhibit six your honor oh, i'm sorry plaintiff's exhibit four hold it up let's see if we can screen share oh there is it's not showing up either um sorry Aaron, let me see if i can't get rid of some of these other maybe that's why it's i got too many up oh there what's screen share there we go all right, you're not going to, um, sorry, I had too many up. Are y'all seeing this now? Yes. Yeah. This is exhibit number five that, that we showed earlier. This is where you tried to trademark bad girl biker click, and it was done on March 18th, 2021. Is that correct? Yes. And it shows the picture, bad girl, this area right here, bad girl biker click or bad girl biker up top with a picture of the woman driving away and then click is on the bottom. Is that correct? Yes. And it has the long hair. And then this is a black and white copy, but the person that's in red, is that correct? Yes. You know, let me go to exhibit six, if I may. Or exhibit four. This is the application filed by Mrs. Urquhart, is that correct? Yes. And it shows that she is filing for Bad Girl Biker Click WMC, is that right? Yes. And do you remember the date? Do you know the date on which this was filed? No. Does it okay. show that it was signed yeah, right electronically? Now, August 29th, 2021. Okay, and this is after she's been told she's no longer a member of the Bad Girl Biker Click Motorcycle Club, is that correct? Yes. Under the application here, it says here that's I know it's lightly checked, but it shows that it's been checked there. To the best of the signatory's knowledge and belief, no other persons except if applicable concurrent users have the right to use this mark in commerce, either in identical form or in such near resemblance as to be likely when used in connection with the goods or services of such other person to cause confusion or mistake or to deceive. Is that correct? Yes. And Ms. Urquhart checked that box when she signed it. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. And here's the electronic signature, the digital signature down here, right below that. Is that correct? Yes. And that was done on August 29th, 2020, 21. Is that right? Yes. However, there was another group operating as Bad Girl Biker Click Motorcycle Club. Is that correct? Yes. And that was the group. Was that the group of the other members that tried to oust Miss Urquhart from the club? Yes. And they were using it concurrently. Is that correct? Yes. And they were telling you had filed already a cease and desist letter against Miss Urquhart to stop using this yes. design and logo and name as of April 2021. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, she filed something in August about five months later that says she's the only one that has the right to use that name. Is that correct? Yes. She also says she had been using the name. Let me go back up here. She'd been using the name as early as the first use. That's important. February 2nd, 2020. Is that right? Yes. But she was no, lo no longer able to use it as of at least February 2021. Is that correct? Yes. Now, and then for her to sign in August 29th, 2021, that she is the only person able to use it. There's no concurrent users that are licensed or able to use it. That's incorrect. Is that right? Yes. All right. Um, did you try to contest Ms. Urquhart's filing of the trademark? No, I did not. And why didn't you do that? Didn't have money. But you're aware that there's this first to use doctrine. Let's see what the application as well. Is correct. That correct? correct. I'm sorry, Judge. Did somebody say something? No. Okay. Sorry. I thought I heard background. 
Uh, are you asking the court to issue a declaratory or a declaratory judgment that Bad Girl Bikers Click, a woman motorcycle club, was acting in commerce prior to the filing of Ms. Urquhart's trademark on August 29, 2021? Yes. Are you asking that Bad Girl Biker Click, the mark and the name of Bad Girl Biker Click, a woman's motorcycle claim, be awarded to you? Yes. You're aware that she filed, she also filed to register to copyright the name. That was filed in April of 2021. Yes. That's one of the defendant's exhibits. You're aware of that, is that right? Yes. That again was done after she was ousted as a member of the club and no longer had the right to use it. Is that right? Yes. That was actually done after, I believe it was done at or near the time where you had sent her the cease and desist letter. Is that correct? Yes. Prior to having the lawyer send her the cease and desist letter, did you also communicate with Ms. Arcart about her use of the term bad girl biker motorcycle club? Yes. What'd you tell her? Because she couldn't no longer use it. You are a past witness at this time. Any cross? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Ward, you have testified that Valerie Arcat was not the founder of Bad Girl Biker Click WMC, is that correct? Yes. And you have tendered as the bylaws of um, Bad Girl Biker Click. I believe it is your defendants. What number is that, Mr. Ginsburg? Your... I believe it's one or two. Do you want me to pull it up? Yeah, I think we need to pull it up. All right. Don't mind. I do not mind. Let me just make sure. I think it's my exhibit number one. Yes. And I am uh, sorry, let me get to share screen. <laughs> there it is. All right. And um, Mr. Ward, can you see the exhibit on the screen? Let me blow it up. Yes. There you go. Can you see the exhibit on the screen, Mr. Ward? Yes. Do you agree that this is a valid copy of the bylaws of the Bad Girl Biker Click. Yes. And this is your own exhibit, so you don't dispute its contents, correct? Correct. All right, um, if you don't mind, can I control this document or do you, can you scroll down a bit? I think I have to control it, but I'll scroll, tell me when, tell me when to go. Keep going? All right. Yes, keep going, I'll tell you when to stop. All right, you stop here on this page. So we're on page three, Your Honor of I believe it is defendant's exhibit number one. Mr. Ward, can you see um, the statement on the top of that document, Bad Girl Biker Click Women's Motorcycle Club bylaws? Yes. yes. Now, immediately after that, you have the words, our history, and it tells you Bad Girl Biker Click WMC was established on February 02, 2020. Do you see that? Yes. And do you also see that underneath that, it says Bad Girl Biker Click WMC is dedicated to family, community, and their sisters. Can you see that? Yes. And immediately after that, it has the word founder. Can you see that? Yes. Can you read into the record the name of the founder of the Bad Girl Biker Click as is stated in the document which you tendered to the court, your exhibit one? Valerie Purple Rain. So uh -huh. when you fact... So when you testified to the court that Valerie Urquhart is not the founder of the club, that was not true. Is that correct? Correct. All right. Now let's look at page five. If you don't mind, um, Mr. Ginsburg, it. please. Here's five. All right. So here we are, page five on part two. Can you see where it says executive board? Mr. Ward, can you see executive board? Mm -hmm. Your Honor, we're showing the court exhibit um, one, page five. Under this section, Mr. Ward, can you see the procedure for removing a board member who is a founding member or a president or an officer? I see it. Okay, what's the procedure, sir? Uh, she requested. No, feel free to read it off of the document which you tendered to the court. 
all executive board position except the business manager position are held for two years. Any executive board member position can be voluntary be relinquished by the officer. However, members in the executive board leadership position can be relieved of their duty with the recommendation from club members of as the submittal of a formal letter, letter of intent for removal. <laughs> Mr. Ginsburg, I'm afraid I can't allow you to testify on behalf of your client. I'm not testifying. I, I, I can read it. Don't worry about it. I can read what you're talking. You're saying. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Ward. Club, uh, say removal to be received and investigated by the founder and the mother chapter executive board for the following reasons. Okay, can you, uh, Mr. Ginsburg? I'm sorry. Please, can I have you scroll down just a bit? The bottom of the screen is blocking the rest of the words. All right, please stop. Now, you see these list of reasons there, which are bullet pointed, do you see them? Yes. Now, what does it say immediately after the bullet points? Explain the absences for three consecutive general meetings. Okay, so it says, let, let me point you to where I need you to go. It says, and you correct me if I'm wrong, this formal letter must be signed by at least three active members of the chapter, Correct? Correct. Sorry. All right. And must list the charges as the basis for the removal. Correct? Correct. And it says, in order to allow the officer in question an opportunity to prepare a statement concerning the charges against them, a special hearing will be scheduled no less than three to seven days following the submission of the letter of intent for removal. Is that correct? Yes. How many days notice did Ms. Urquhart get from these alleged members who submitted an application to remove her? Uh, don't know exactly. In essence, in actual fact, is it not one day's notice? Could be. If it was one day's notice, would you agree that based on the bylaws of Bad Girl Biker Click, the procedure for removal was not followed and therefore the removal was not valid? Objection or calls for speculation on Mr. Ward's part. Uh, overruled. Please answer the question, Mr. Ward. Would you agree? No. You would not agree that the proceed if the procedure for removal is not followed, the person has not been removed. I think the objection, the obje objection, your honor, misstates facts. Sounds he doesn't know how many days she was given one way or the other. Your Honor, he has admitted in response to my question that he believes it probably was one day's notice. I asked that question prior. Objections overruled, uh, let's, let's move on. All right, so Mr. Ward, when you testified to the court that Valerie Urquhart had been removed as president, you did not in fact disclose to the court that the procedure was not followed, is that correct? Objection, Your Honor, seems facts not in evidence. Overruled, you can answer. If you know, you can answer. I don't know the answer to that. All right, Your Honor. Now, um, Mr. Um, Ward, back in February of 2020, you and Valerie Urquhart had several communications by email, by text messages, planning the design for the logo and patch for Bad Girl Biker Club. Club. Am I correct? That's not correct. That is I, not correct? No, ma'am. I've, I've never emailed. Never emailed Valerie at all. Um, sorry to say, you no. Know, we communicated on some ideals, but never emailed. You ne you've never communicated with Valerie Urquhart by email? Never. So the email address in Exhibit 1 is not your email address? My email. That's my email, correct? Is the email correct or not? It, yes, it is. I'm sorry, so, the email address or the email itself? Were you asking about email exhibit number is one? Is the email address correct? Yes. Let me pull this up just so we can verify that. Um, I'm going to ask you, Mr. I, I have to stop share. Yeah. Yes, I, I, need, I need you to stop sharing so I can I share. Okay. Thank you. Let me share. Okay.
Your Honor, can you see what I see? Yes. All right, wonderful. Exhibit one. Yes. All right, so this is the page here. And that's, we're referring now, Your Honor, to Defendant's Exhibit 2. Mr. Ward, just for clarification for the record, is your email address wardmarquee at yahoo.com? Just objection, Your Honor, I'd ask. The Overruled, sir. Please answer the question, sir. Yes. Do you recognize the email address badgirlbikerclick at gmail.com? I see it. Where have you seen it, sir? On this piece of paper. And you, prior to seeing it on this piece of paper, you had never seen it before? No, ma'am, never seen it before. Now, um, at the time that you alleged that you were designing the logo, you were communicating with some other persons other than someone called Reggie, correct? Correct. Okay, and you claim that Reggie is merely a contractor for the people, the J.R. Rod, whom you say actually designed this logo, is that correct? Reggie works for them. I don't know about contracting, he works for that company, RB3. Me, he works for yeah. that company. I don't know about a contract. But he okay, works. you were. Were you at the hearing on October 26, 2021, the temporary injunction hearing? Yes. And Reggie was present at that hearing, is that correct? Correct. Did you hear Reggie's testimony? Yes. Did you, do you recall that Reggie said he was a 1099 employee, that is an independent Objection contractor? Not hearsay. Your Honor, this is a cross-examination. The world. So Mr. Ward, please answer the question. Did you hear Mr. Um, Reggie testify that he's a 1099 employee? I, I don't recall. If I showed you the, tr the hearing transcript from the injunction hearing and you saw that statement, would you like to change your statement now? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 1099, I, I don't, I'm not aware of what that is. I mean, I just knew Reggie worked for the company they designed it for me. That's all I knew. I, I don't know what a 1090, that was presented at the junction, wasn't aware of it, didn't know what it mean, or anything to that nature. Do you, did you have any communications with um, Valerie Urquhart about who was designing the logo? No. So you, she could never have known that Reggie worked for J.R. Rod, who you claim was designing the logo? Objection or calls for speculation. Oh, world, you can answer if you know. Reggie used to work for Miss Curl. Reggie is a guy that run a machine. He left Miss Curl and went to another company. And after the injunction is when she recognized that Reggie was the person that was actually doing it. I mean, objection non responsive. No, world, you, you can answer. I paid RD3 to design the logo. Reggie worked for him, that's all I know. So how could Ms. Urquhart have known that Reggie was the one who should send her an artist release form? Objection or call for speculation. Overall, if you know. I mean, Reggie is a person that, that everybody knows. He's well known in our, in our, if you want to call our community or our set, the guys that basically does basically everything for every, basically every club in the end of Dallas Fort Gary. So, I mean, that was like, once again, it was just speculation. I mean, she she didn't know physically if Reggie was the one doing it or not because Reggie doesn't own the company. Reggie doesn't own the machine. If you owned the patches and the logo, how come Ms. Valerie Orcutt has the PDF design released to her by email. I didn't release anything to her. How would she have obtained it? Do you know? It gotta be copyrighted. 
I'm sorry? It, it has to be copyrighted. A lot of people can uh, 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 duplicate things, but I can guarantee you that when you do copper, when you do stitch count design, that stitch count is not going to be the same. You can you can make it look just alike, but the stitch count is not going to be the same. It's not just can't you can you, that's that's the difference. You cannot duplicate the stitch count because different people does it different ways. If you know anything about embroidery. Let me ask you something. Uh, Mr. Ward, did you ever have a discussion with Valerie about the kind of motorcycle to put in the logo? We, we talked about a lot of different things. When, when Valerie come about, and I told her that it had to be identical to us, you know what I mean? Because this is what we were trying to make sure that everybody knew that it was all up on the one umbrella. One Objection non-responsive. Mr. Ward, my question to you was, did you have a discussion with Valerie about the kind of motorcycle to put in the logo? Is that a yes or a no? No, we didn't have a discussion about that. So when you told the court now that you talked about a lot of things because you wanted them to be under the same umbrella, can you tell the court what you were talking about? You asked a, a certain motorcycle. There's a lot of different motorcycles. So um, in the men's logo, there are sports motorcycles, correct? Correct. And in the ladies, the ladies ride touring motorcycles. Is that correct? Riding in, in the patch is two different things. We all ride a different type of bike. That patch is identical to the men's patch. Objection non-responsive. My question is, do the ladies ride touring motor motorcycles? In judge. And I have to object. Is it in the patch or in person they ride these touring motors? Yeah, which do you mean? Your Honor, we're talking here about what the, the discussion he had with Valerie regarding the content of the patch. The issue was whether or not the ladies rode touring bikes and the men rode sports bikes. In in the patch or in, and that's confusing, Judge, because she just said both. Is, are we talking about in the patch itself or in person, like where they physically ride? Your Honor, yeah. in order for me to impeach this witness, I will need him to answer the question, then I can make my establish the point therefrom. The question is vague and confusing, Your Honor. Sustained. Let me clarify again. Did you have any discussions with Valerie Urquhart about whether to use touring bikes or sports bikes in the logo? No. Did you have any discussions with Valerie Urquhart about whether the ladies ride touring bikes versus sports bikes? Objection, vague. Are we talking about the logo or in person or physically? I'm sorry. Your Honor, we're talking about the discussion he had with Valerie Urquhart. You have to tell me whether it's the patch or not. Only the client okay. knows where, what, whether he had such a discussion with her about whether the ladies ride touring bikes or sports bikes. And so, so uh, I want the witness to answer both. Is okay. Do they drive sports bikes or touring bikes on the patch and, and, and in person just so we can move on? The, the patch is sport bike. What about in person? In person. We, we kind of rob both. It all depends on the member that joined the club. I'm it's talking about the ladies. Thing. Same thing with the ladies. There's not, as long as you have a motorcycle, you can join. It doesn't have to be a specific bike or a certain color or a certain brand. As long as you had a motorcycle with two wheels or even three wheels, Your Honor. Okay. All That's right, Your Honor. Honor. Now, um, let's talk about your registration of your trademark. You had told the court that you sent a demand letter, a cease and desist letter to my client. And I believe that is your exhibit. Is that your exhibit one? No, I, I'm sorry. I think it's exhibit six. Do you want me to pull six. it up? Okay. Well, I thought those were your applications. I can, I can open them up. Yeah. yeah, I can't look as long as we're screen sharing. I'm sorry. We're okay. Okay. So Actually, what I want to show you is I need to show him that exhibit first. So I'm going to have to stop sharing this okay. and then get him there. Okay. Okay. Are you talking about the cease and desist letter? Yes, your cease and desist letter, please. All right. I believe that is my exhibit six. Okay. Uh, let me, sorry, 
screen share. Five, four, one. Sorry, I have to get rid of some of these others. I have okay. too many. Let me see if I can open it up. Here. No, oh, I don't. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm going to stop sharing and let you do it. Okay. There it is. There uh, let me make it bigger. Sorry. Right, thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ward, do you recognize your Exhibit 6? Yes. And this is a letter written April 22nd of 2021. Is that correct? Yes. And it's a cease and desist and surrender immediately from you personally to Valerie Urquhart. Is that correct? Yes. I, I sent it to all the members that was still wearing the vest. Okay. I'm rightfully. It just didn't go to Valerie. It went to the other three members that she had left that, that went with her. Okay. All three of them. Um, um, if you don't mind, Jacob, can you can you scroll down just a bit? Sure. Tell me when. Um, um, this, is, this is the first page. Yeah, just stop there for a sec. I'm looking for a specific thing. Okay, for a little further down, if you don't mind. Okay, on page two, I think, of the document is where it is. Okay, let's stop there. Now, take a look at your paragraph four on this letter. Do you see that? Right there, Marquis Ward? Yes. And in that paragraph, your letter states, Marquis Ward has a right to pursue legal action to protect his trademark. And he has taken the responsibility upon himself to protect that trademark. Is that correct? Yes. Did you have a trademark on this date? I, I filed it, I think. I, I don't know exactly what day I filed it, but I did file it. That was not my question, sir. Did you have a trademark on the day you sent this cease and desist letter stating that you did? No. All right. I'm going to have you stop screen sharing now, if you don't mind. No problem. Right. Now, you testified that you are the, the designer of the patch and logo and that you have been using it from the beginning, correct? Yes. Okay, can you tell the court what kinds of uses you have put the patch and the logo to since it was designed back in 2020? Uh, we used it um, when we gave Tyler and Dallas their, their patches. That was the first use when we presented them to both of them. At and the what year was that? I don't know exactly what year. I know it was 20 something. I want to say it's 2020. I don't okay. know exactly what month. And... Was that about the same time that you believe you gave the patches to Valerie Urquhart and her team? I allowed them to use it. Them as that was well. not my I, question, I, sir. I, I didn't give Valerie authorization. I gave it the team. Probably not Valerie, everybody. And that was including Tyler the same day. So, and that same day would be in February of 2020. Is that correct? That could be correct day. And it wasn't in, but it wasn't definitely in 2021. That would be 2020, correct? Correct. And you filed your trademark application in 2021, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you understand how trademark applications are filed? At the time, I didn't. Uh, it was. It took a lot longer. It was more depth. Um, me not being knowledge of, of all the detail it took me a while. I mean, the company I went through, they kept sending stuff back, um, and so I finally got it to to where it was, I guess, sent to the U.S. board. Okay, so basically, um, when you filed your application, what kind of application were you filing? Uh, don't don't recall. Uh, like I said, I, I'm not valid with them terms or that knowledge about the trademark. I use the company. Who filled out the forms for you? Uh, it was a company. It was called. Uh, yes. Uh, 
Oh, the legal Zoom. Legal Zoom. Yeah. Correct. And when you contacted Legal Zoom, you told them that you had already been using the application, the yes, particular correct. patch. Correct. So in fact, you did not tell them that you were planning to use the patch in the future. I'm not understanding the question. All right. I'm gonna have you take a look at um, Defendant's Exhibit 10. Can you see it on the screen? The, the, the filing date? Is that what you're asking? No. Can you see the, a document on the screen? I can see the document. Can you see it's marked Exhibit 10? Yes. Okay. Is this the logo you wanted to have trademarked? Yes. And when you submitted it, you submitted it as a black and white um, logo, correct? I was. I was told it had to be in black and white from legal zoom okay and you filed your application on march 18 2021 correct yes and your name you put down your name as the owner yes. ward marquis correct yes and when you filed your application your basis you can see a place there where it says current basis okay. 1b you know what 1b means no, ma'am. Right. Are you aware that when you file an application for a trademark, you get to choose whether you're filing it as a person who, use, who is already using the trademark or as a person who intends to use the trademark in the future? Um, I'm not aware of that. So when you filed your 1B application and you signed off on it, you weren't aware that you were telling the trademark office that you intended to use this trademark in the future, correct? Correct, I guess, if that's what they mean. I don't know what 1B means, to be honest. Have you ever told any legal Zoom employee or anybody who worked for you as a contractor filling out the trademark documents when you started using the trademark? It was all done by questionnaire, I mean, online. So I didn't talk to nobody physically. I mean, they called me uh, to say a okay. document wasn't right or whatnot like that. I mean, I- And in the questionnaire that you filled out, you are asked, um, have you been using this mark? I, I Is don't that correct? I don't remember the questionnaire. I'm not being honest. I don't remember. I mean, and so what, the, whatever you say, I, 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 I filed, that's what I filed. To be okay, honest. so if that's what you filed, it means this is the information you provided to LegalZoom, correct? Correct. So in essence, you never told LegalZoom or any other entity that you had been using that mark prior to the date of filing. Objection, Your Honor, calls for a legal conclusion of what 1B is. No one has testified to that. That's not what I asked him, Your Honor. That's I asked exactly him what you're asking. Sorry. Rephrase. All right, Your Honor. My question to you, Mr. Ward, is when you filled out the application, you never disclosed to anyone or in any form that you intended to use, that you had been using that mark prior to the date of filing, is that correct? I can't answer that question, I mean, I, I mean, don't know the answer to that. Mr. Ward, you just testified that you filled out a form on legal Zoom and provided information, is that correct? Correct, but once again, I don't know what 1B mean at that time, I, I didn't know, I just marked the marked it, I guess. I didn't feel like- my, qu my question to you was not about 1B, I'm asking you what you put in the form in your own that you actually typed. And his statement and answer was he didn't remember. So asked and answered. Ob objection, Your Honor. He hasn't answered my question. No world, you can answer. So, so Mr. Ward, you've testified that you filled out the form in case you can't remember the question. The question is, did you at any point in time when you were filling out that form to apply for this trademark on legal zoom did you state that you had been using the application you'd be using the trademark prior to the date of filing i guess yes if you said yes would your application have been a an application for a person who has been using it or for a person who intends to use it 
that's once again, I don't know that. I don't know that answer. I don't, I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't know what you want to hear from me, but I don't know the answer. Okay. So in your application, there is no date of first use. Do you agree? Yes, this isn't the actual application. So this is a record printed up. It's a record of what, what was filed. It's not the actual application. So object to the form of questions. Your Honor, oh. there- I'm ruled, you can answer. Thank you, Your Honor. If you know the answer. I don't know the answer. All right, let's move on. All right. All right. Now you testify that you didn't have money to respond to Valerie Urquhart's opposition to your trademark filing. Is that correct? Correct. Um, did you try to send out email communications to the trademark office to let them know that you had an objection? I spoke with, I spoke with uh, a representative from the trademark and the only thing they could do was say that I might want to get a lawyer. They couldn't advise me or uh, uh, or whatever it was at the time, they 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 recommended, like I explained to them that I was already had a court date set to resolve this issue. And it just lingered on out. I mean, in the process of this lingering out, she was able to go file all these other stuff as we wait to get to court. Yeah. This isn't really relevant. Can we can we kind of move on? Actually, Your Honor, this is the most relevant aspect of things because the question here is one of prior use. That's the reason why I'm asking these questions. The, the issue but whether is, or not he could afford to hire an attorney isn't. No, no, no. I was not asking him about an attorney at all. I was asking why he did not. He is the one bringing up the attorney issue, Your Honor. I only asked him, did he send any paperwork back in, in response to the opposition? That's it. Okay. Did you send any paperwork back? No, sir. Okay, let's move on. All right, Your Honor. Now, um, Mr. Ward, on a general note, you were you appeared before this court at a hearing for the injunction. I believe it was October the 26th of 2021. Do you recall that? Yes. And at the time that you appeared after the hearing, the court ordered that you and my client go to mediation. Do you recall that? Yes. Relevant, did, Your Honor. Did you go to mediation? Objection relevance. I mean, sustain is not, not relevant, but so look. Your Honor, the, is, the issue here is, is I, I'm going to, I, I'll, I'll withdraw the question, Your Honor. Okay. Now let's talk about um, J.R. Rod and Reggie. Do you recall that at the last hearing, Reggie said he designed the logo and not you or J.R. Rod? Objection. Here's overruled. You can answer. You remember him saying that? Uh, no, no, Your Honor, I wrong. Your Honor, I'd like to show the courts the, the transcript of the hearing and ask a question from the witness. Perhaps it will refresh his recollection. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Just stop sharing this. All right. It's it's not going to work that way. You have to hit it first. Guys, okay, yeah, I, I, I'm not trying to be mean to you guys, but you really should know how to share screen documents. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, break for lunch. We're having kind of a long break. Um, so I, I want to, I thought this would be finished a lot more quickly. So let me just kind of give you my thoughts on this so far. And uh, this is not a ruling or anything, but it might uh, 
facilitate a settlement is my hope. I, I think I don't find it all persuasive. The plaintiff's argument that that email is forged. I, I recall during the and maybe I'm, you can be correct me from the transcript, but I recall that plaintiff admitted he had sent the email in the last. I, I just don't find that persuasive. All he did send the email. I think it's pretty unquestioned that uh, BCBG owns this trademark uh, and uh, the the question really is, so there's two questions in my mind, they own it. Uh, so this lawsuit should be, in my opinion, the declaratory judgment should be that BCBG owns it. And then there may be a subsequent lawsuit or proceeding or whatever that goes into the issue of does Valley or court have is she BCBG? Does she have the right to use it? Or is it this rival faction or how that works? I don't think that's really what we're, we're here to decide today, but I think that's uh, what the most relevant thing is. I don't really see any fraud here, but you know, I'm not stopping you from trying to fight all this out. You told me this was going to be two hours and it's been what already been two hours and the plaintiff is still testifying. So uh I'm going to, uh, it's just going to be difficult for me to finish this because you guys have gone over time. But uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to break uh, until about 1.30. In the interim, I want you guys to do two things. One, to talk to each other about settling this case, because uh, I think this is pretty clear cut. Uh, and two, if you're not going to settle the case, I want you to practice share screening because you guys should know I'm not fussing with you. You should know how to share a screen. We've been doing Zoom in the courts for about almost three years now. So you guys should know how to do it. So you should, I'm going to assign you to practice doing that so that we can make this go a little more smoothly. So I'm going to put you guys into a breakout room and then we'll reconvene at 1.30. Fair roll, Your Honor. All right. You're going to post it on the break.